Hi everyone, and welcome back to Cello Tips. Today, we are going to talk about what it takes to become a great artist. So, this is a subject that I think a lot of people find to be quite esoteric. You know, we can point out great pieces of art throughout history that have become sort of accepted as being great by the public and by experts. But even so, it's not always easy to explain why they are great, what makes them great. And so I think for a lot of young musicians and young artists who have dreams of being considered amongst the greats, dreams of having great artistry, performing as a great artist, it's hard to know where to begin. And of course, a lot of this has to do with talent, you know, and just your nature as an individual and how that nature transforms into your performance and then connects with the public. Of course, that's a big part of it. But also there are many things that can be developed, learned, and trained into an individual to enhance their artistry. And that's what the point of this is. So I tried to narrow it down for you all to a few main points that I think are necessary for great artistry. And if you can develop these three main points, then you're going to put yourself on the best possible path to becoming a great artist. So the first point is soul. And that means to always be getting as close as you possibly can to the deep soul of the music that you're playing. And that goes along with emotion, playing with a lot of feeling, but not just playing with, you know, whatever random emotions that you feel like that day, but rather deeply connecting with the musical work that you're playing. Yeah. And this is something that is developed in many, many different ways. But most of it, I would argue, happens outside of the practice room. So, whatever the work is that you're studying, you need to figure out how to embody that work on the most human personal level. So I find that spending time alone, taking walks, or just spending time in your room, meditating, whatever it might be, and sitting with that music in your mind and trying to allow that music to embody yourself. That's what's going to help the best. You know, when you're practicing a lot, a piece with the instrument and drilling things going in over, over and over things, a lot of the things you're going to be putting onto that music are inevitably going to be due to the technical challenges of the music. And the technical challenges have almost nothing to do with soul. And so we want to get the real meaning and the purpose of that music. So spend a time away from the instrument, a lot of time actually away from the instrument, and just try to be with that music and see what that music truly means to you, how it makes you feel and what you want to say with it. So that's the first point. The second point 
unfortunately, is technique. So you have to master the technique. You have to master the craft. If you can't do that, it doesn't matter how many great ideas you have, you're not going to be able to translate them into a great artistic performance. So you have to master the technique. And for that, you know, we have many, many videos here already for you. Of course, a lot of it has to do with your training, who you're working with, who's teaching you. You need a great teacher, you know, and you need to learn as much as you can about the different facets of playing the cello. That goes for intonation, sound, all the various techniques that go into playing the cello. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that point because, as I said, we have so many videos here already concerning technique. And then the third and final point is knowledge. So what we do in classical music is rooted in a deep and long-standing tradition. A lot of the pieces that we play are 300 plus years old, you know. So this art form is not something that is just free will, you know. It's deeply, deeply rooted in tradition. And it's something that's been passed on from generation to generation and will continue to be done, hopefully. And so in order to truly understand that art form and to play in a way that is with great artistry, you have to be knowledgeable about the whole tradition of classical music. And that comes in many, many different forms. So first of all, you have to be knowledgeable about the music you're playing. You have to understand basic historical knowledge about the composers, at least. So that means a lot of reading. And you have to also understand the musical language. So that means a lot of listening, probably, to recordings. Perhaps a lot of score studying. You know, so that you begin to understand the language of the composers that you are playing. So, by the time I was 15, I had listened to the complete published works of Beethoven, Schumann, Brahms, Mahler, and about half of Bach and Mozart each, you know. And that is what gave me the confidence to go into the literature now as an interpreter, feeling well-versed and feeling like I am a valid performer of this music and at least I somewhat understand the language. I have some sense of what that, what those composers' languages are like. You know, and I think that's so important. And outside of the composers and their music, also I think it's important to have an understanding of the tradition and the lineage of musicians, players, performers. You know, so as a cellist, that means understanding our heritage where everything came from, You're understanding these great artists like Kazals, Rostropovich, Shafran, Fournier, Starker, all these great artists, understanding what they brought to the art form and where we are today is because of what all of them did, largely. A lot of the great music that we play was written because of those performers. Yeah. So, knowledge is, is the final point, I think. That you're not just jumping into something 
trying to create something out of absolutely nothing. But you are an interpreter that is valid in bringing your voice and your understanding, your knowledge now to this music. So I hope that hope I hope that helps all of you a little bit. At least as a starting point, you know, to try and improve your artistry. To try to continue on this path that we all are looking down to try and become the greatest artists and greatest musicians that we can become. So hope you all have a great week. And I'll see you next time.